I'm Bob Claggett. I run a channel here on YouTube called I Like to Make Stuff, where we make all sorts of different types of projects. Well, today we're working with Lowe's to make some fun stuff for my backyard. In fact, we're going to make kind of a pipe organ that is totally waterproof. You can leave it outside, but you can also fold it up and put it away. Let's head to the shop and get started. This is a very simple project and you don't need any special tools, but let me give you a sketch so you know where we're headed. We're going to take some 2x4s and make two A-frames. There'll be a hinge at the top so that you can open and close them, and then you'll connect those two A-frames by some decking boards. That'll give us our structure to put our pipes on. Let's get to it. To make the A-frames, I've got four 2x4s. I'm going to cut those down to length. If you're doing this, make sure that you get pressure-treated lumber so that it'll last outside for a long time. I chose 70 inches for these pieces, but that was just kind of a random number. You mainly want to scale this to fit the people that are going to be playing with it, whether that's kids or adults. Now that I've got those pieces cut, I'm going to connect two of them together with the strap hinge. And when you get hinges for this, make sure that you get one rated for outdoor use. I wanted to point out that you typically wouldn't put in a screw this close to the end of a 2x4 because that would make it split. But the pressure treated ones are really wet, so they're less likely to split here. I've got these pieces of decking boards cut down, and these are going to be the cross pieces that go in between the frames. So I'm going to line this top one up with the top of the A-frame, and then I'll measure down from there to put the second one. So now we've got our A-frame built, and while you've got it at this state, you can open and close it to get it at the right angle that you want, and then once you've got that decided on, you want to add some chain in between these two walls to make sure that it won't completely open up and flatten out. For our pipes, we're going to use some PVC sewer pipe. Now this is the same PVC as normal plumbing stuff, but it's a lot thinner walled and less expensive. We're going to cut down this pipe to different lengths, and that's going to give us our different notes. The playing end of this is going to have a 90 degree angle on it, and then we're going to have something that we can hit it to make the sound. Now this PVC can cut really easily with a handsaw or with a circular saw or a miter saw. Just for comparison, I cut down a section to five feet and then this is the 12 foot section that's straight out of the store at Lowe's. Let's listen to the difference. To get a specific note out of these pipes, you have to do a little bit of math based on the wavelength of the sound that you want. I found a chart online and I'm just generally following that chart. Not going to be perfect notes, but they do sound different. It's pretty good, actually. I'm going to go ahead and glue in the bottom 90 degree piece to each one of these. I'm going to use some PVC cement. A lot of times you have to use a primer and then a cement. This is an all-in-one and it works great. Luckily, since we're not worried about it being watertight or anything, we can just kind of glue it on there and then move on. Did a little test here, and this works, but it's not super comfortable to hit it at this angle. So we're actually gonna add a second 90 down here. That's gonna make it a lot easier to just come over and tap this to get the sound that we want. Now, of course, water is gonna fall in here and through the top when it rains. So we'll put a small hole in the bottom of this so it can drain out. I'm gonna glue these two pieces together, but I'm gonna make sure to lay this on the table before I put them in so that they're in line and not tilted up the wrong direction.
Now that I've got those eyelets on there, I'm gonna connect them with the chain and I'm gonna use something called a quick link. And this will go through the end of the chain and through the eyelet. Then you can just turn it and it'll lock it into place. So we just gotta cut these down to the right length. You could cut this chain a bunch of different ways. You could use a hacksaw. I'm gonna use a cutting disc on a Dremel. Now that the chains are on, the frame is pretty much done for now. We can't paint this yet because it's pressure treated and you have to let this dry for almost a year before you stain or paint it. Otherwise it just won't take that stain or paint well. So we're gonna leave this and then move on to the pipes and add a little bit of color and flair to them. Now you could paint these pipes with any sort of a plastic paint, but honestly, it's a lot of pipe. So instead, I'm just gonna put some color down on the end where you're gonna be slapping it and actually making the sound. We do need to get rid of the stickers that are on here and all of these pipes have some printing on them. You can easily get that printing off with some sandpaper. I let the paint dry on these overnight, so now they're ready to be attached to the frame. We're gonna do that by driving in some decking screws from the backside into the back of the pipe. That should hold it just fine as long as we put some in the top and in the bottom. We've got the pipes in place, and before we hand it over to the kids to really try out, we're gonna give it a quick test. And there it is, a great example of a really simple project made with normal construction materials that you can get at your local Lowe's. We're gonna have links to all the stuff we use down in the description if you wanna check it out. And if you're not subscribed to the Lowe's channel, please go ahead and do that, because we've got some more really fun outdoor projects coming up very soon. I'm Bob from I Like To Make Stuff. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.